So the mushal goes like this. Eged. Eged is a bus company in Eretz Yisrael. And there are many different drivers, many different routes to take, whatever the case is. Okay. One driver, let's call him Shalom. (laughs) That's a name, Shalom. He's the guy who has to drive the nursing home route. He has to go very slow past all those nursing homes. All the older ladies and older men come on. Half of them have walkers, so it takes a long time. He has to lower the bus. And most of them forget their money because they just forgot their wallets. And they get on. They're complaining, could you slow down? Could you turn slower? My dentures just fell out on that. They slow down. And he's like, Lama, Lama, why? Why do I have this root? He spoke in English with a Hebrew accent, whatever. He was talking to an English guy. Anyway, so he goes this thing. He brings in 45 shekel to Eged every single day. And this guy hates his life. Hates his life. Hates his driver. Meanwhile, every day he starts, he sees that co-cell driver, you know, the number three bus, like turning on music. He's like, Shalom, you know. And he drives on his first stop, like 50 people come on. Second stop, another 50 people. This guy comes in every day with like thousands of shekel for Eger. And he's like, he's like, here is a 35 shekel I got today. You know, and I found it on the floor. It wasn't even from the people. They didn't even pay because they, they all forgot their wallets. Anyways, he was very upset. He was always like looking at the other guy with jealousy. Like, why Hashem? Why did you put him? there it's not fear i want to be there on my i can't eh. one day he decides he's had it he's done i am gonna take the cosel route i'm taking the hotel route he gets on his bus he makes like a left instead of a right and he starts and he changes it to a three you know gets to the first stop busy day 150 people come on the bus he's like yalla let's go rabutai starts driving everyone's like faster go faster he's like fast let's go he starts going fast starts popping wheelies puts on music obviously jewish music obviously and he's going and this and he's like unbelievable starts serving everyone hummus he's like let's go he's living the life not his life but somebody else's life but he is living it up and he's like i'm doing such a good thing because i'm getting i get so much money Gishmak. Anyways, he does his route, finishes up, like parks right by the coastal, knock him up, a thousand people get on, turns around, this guy's swerving, he's the happiest guy in the world ever, a hundred, all right? Pulls up an egghead at the end of the day, he's literally holding more money than you've ever seen. <laughs> he's like, smile from here to here, he literally got hummus for everyone. That's what they do, they're in the with hummus, fine. Walks in there and he looks around and he sees there are police officers, there are detectives, the CEO of Egged is there. And they're all like angry. There's papers, there's this, there's lawyers. And he walks in, he's like, Rabota, Shalom, Anishma, what's going on? And they're like, what's, 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 who, who, we, we are, they're all angry at him, like, ah. And he's like, what's going on, guys? Look how much money I brought you. Look how much cash money I brought you. And he throws it on the floor, and he's like, yeah. He starts laying in it, you know, going like that thing. Anyways, they, they call him up to like, what's, you, do, 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 Lama. Lama, Lama, Ata. Why, 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 why are you? Why do you exist? Why, Lama? Well, who is your mother? Yeah? He says, what happened? He says, you want to know what happened? He says, today, there was an old lady on your route. You were supposed to take her to the doctor, to the hospital. Your job was the bus like 353. You know, you take that slow route because you're like a nice guy. You drive slow. You were supposed to pick them up and take them to the doctor so they don't all die. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Today, for whatever reason, your bus didn't show up where it was supposed to be. And the lady who really had to get to the doctor because she couldn't breathe or whatever, it's a muscle, obviously, died. So now we're being sued for a billion shekel. And you know what? Actually, Egget is closing down because you wanted to live someone else's life. You don't understand that we have roots. We have, there's a reason why we do this. We put you there specifically because you're the most important person to get these people. By them, it's life and death. They are the bus. Okay, it's more gishmak and whatever, but the money's all the same place. This money, that money, it's like, what, what, I, how did you do this? What, get out of here. Give me that hummus first. <laughs> then he eats the hummus. And then he kicks him out. I get closed down. What's the mushroom? Rabbi said, what's the mushroom? Don't live your own life. HaKadosh Baruch Hu gave you a lane. He gave you a route. He gave you exactly what you need. Exactly where you're supposed to be. Now, on your route, on your, you know, in your direction you're supposed to go, you have to do the best that you can. Stop by the red lights. Make sure you pick them up slow. Make sure you don't go too fast. Make sure you're playing the right music. But exactly where you are is where you're supposed to be. 